Hey everyone, this is Evgeny, and today we continue our LAM graph introduction series. Last time we were talking about how to set a breakpoint and how to allow user to accept the flow. And today we are making a next step in this direction. We'll take a look how, uh, how to get some information, how to get a feedback from user. And quick note. There is a link to Amazon website in the description, so please click on it and then when you buy something somewhere, Amazon will reward me and provide a couple of cents, so I will be closer to my dream. A new keyboard. Alright, thanks a lot and now let's jump into the coding session. Alright, so let's start from the third lesson where we defined our financial advisor graph and so let's just redefine it so we can work with it. And again, just to refresh your memory, guys, uh, this is very simple. We have an assistant, it knows about tools and tools, that's why it's called a financial advisor. And it's up to assistant to circle here and there until the result is ready. And this time, let's set a breakpoint not on the tools as we did before, but on the system itself. So I'm redefining the same graph, I'm using all the sources which we wrote before. And uh, we are compiling this interruption before assistant and uh, well it's the way how it looks like we can see the assistant we have this before thing the uh, breakpoint and let's try uh, run it and see how it behaves so i'm asking the same question the financial question we invented a couple of videos back right so should i invest in tesla and we are pretty printing uh, the messages we get back from the flow and it's the single one should invest in tesla stocks why well because we have an interruption on assistant node here and uh, what we can do let's take a look at the graph state and this is a state snapshot as i was uh, telling you previously it contains the single human message that we sent there and this is the idea, we stopped our graph, we are here, we can interact the process, uh, with the process and we can try and update the messages here and see how it behaves. So for doing that, there is a graph update state method available and what I'm doing here, I'm again, I'm providing the same thread so it's clear which flow we are talking about. And I'm kind of setting the human message, another human message that says, no, sorry, uh, I would be more interested in Apple stocks. And again, uh, this is something you should know already at this time, right, that uh, we are not assigning the messages directly, but we are assigning, we are setting the messages using reducers. And by default, the reducer we have is responsible for adding messages to the queue. So if this message will be added on top to the already existing list of messages, right? So I'm running update the state, I do have some values back, and if I'm checking the messages what we have in the queue it's the second message here and both are human messages and uh, what happens if we would resume the graph now it would go to the tools probably right because assistant uh, no it's it's the way around that first assistant would take control analyze the messages find that okay uh, the tools should be triggered and so forth right so let's do this i'm resuming the graph and what we have here the last message is printed out as before, right? And then we can see, okay, there is a tool call and uh, this is a look up for stock symbol for Apple. So the assistant was clever enough to grab the updated version from the user and there is a need for tool call. But it stopped again. Why? Well, because uh, from the tools, that's clear, right? From the tool call, we go to assistant and again, it's interruption before. So we stop here again. And if we just resume it, just we don't know, uh, we don't want to update anything here, right? We just want to continue. We have a lookup, symbol, we have Apple, we have the real fetch stock data row and a lot of data here. And again, it stopped. And if we resume it again, then uh, what we have back is the final step where the real advice is given, right? So, and the, the whole flow is finished. This is pretty simple technique, right? It's, it's, it's one step on top from the previous lesson. We know how the breakpoint works. And now we have the idea how to update the current state. And uh, what we can do, let's take a look at the same thing, but how it works in Studio, in the Visual Studio, Visual Tool. Uh, so what I'm doing here, I have the same financial advisor. And again, I'm setting interrupt before the assistant and it's shown here. And let's just 
try and uh, see how the same kind of dialog is working. So again, I'm starting the conversation with the human message, should I invest in Tesla stocks? And it's stopped on assistant note here. And this is the tricky part because now I have to update my messages queue. And what I'm doing here, I'm editing the state, right? So, uh, but this time uh, I can add the message as the previously, as we did previously, right? But uh, I can do the different thing. I can replace it here and fork it, right? And so we do have the same kind of flow as previous, right? I can continue several times and tooling here and there. And finally, uh, well, we get the expected output. And this is about recommendation. And usually the next thing we are doing these days, we are trying the same kind of flow where API calls. So let's do this again, right? Uh, first thing first, uh, I think I was wrong, I have to copy the port, and this is a good example why you should do this all the time. So I need to copy the URL, and this one is different, that's why uh, it failed, and I run it again, and I see the list of all the agents I have in the studio, and I think we are working with financial advisor, right? So it's, it's there already, it's... Uh, it's this one, it's financial advisor, it ends in C4, and this one we have here. And first, let's start, uh, so what we are doing? Again, we are running the financial advisor, we are providing the same question about Tesla stocks. Uh, we interrupt before assistant, as we, we are doing in this session already. And also, we are just pretty printing the messages, which we get back from the server. So I'm running it. And it's the same kind of stuff, right? Should I invest in Tesla stock? The single message here. And again, if we check the current state of the graph, we can see that uh, it's, 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 it's stopped here and we have a single message. We do have some metadata, which is not probably important at the moment. And the idea we are trying to apply now, let's uh, update the message so we can affect the way how flow uh, will continue. So I'm grabbing the last message and this is from current state values messages. And this one is, should I invest in Tesla stock? But this time, let's do it a bit differently, right? Uh, we do have the last message and let's replace the content. So let's replace the question cell. So no, sorry, I changed my mind. I will be more interested in Apple stocks. And I will show you, this is very tricky because uh, what happened, we changed the content, but the idea of the message stayed the same. It's, it's the same ending on A6, right? So what will happen if you try to update the state? And probably you remember I was saying this all the time that uh, we are using reducer and the default behavior of reducer is to adding messages on top all the time. But this one is a bit different. And the difference is that we are trying to add the message on the top, but we already have the message with the same ID in the queue. So in this case, what will happen, your message will be replaced, not added on the top, right? So this is the idea. So we did that and we have single message. And if I run it again, the graph, well, uh, it, it, it works as previously, right? So we do have the content and this is one, the updated one already. And again, we have the tool calling. Uh, we have the result from tool calling. So Apple is A-P-L-E, uh, stock symbol. And if I continue it, it would be like normal, normal process, right? With the uh, recommendations in the end. And, uh, Okay, the last thing I wanted to show you, normally when you work with such things like human feedback, it makes sense to separate it and make it more visible maybe. So it's, it's better for the future when you can see that, okay, here's human feedback is expected. Because if you take a look at this one, like who knows why we have the interruption before assistant, right? It's not clear at all. And so you can highlight this somehow. And for that, there is an interesting technique is used like uh, the core of it that you can create a dummy note with the name human feedback for example which is not doing anything completely it's only here just to highlight that human feedback is expected that's it so how it looks like uh let's see here and uh well we define a new node and it does nothing it's just passing through and that's it and we are injecting this node in the graph and we do the interrupt before human feedback that's pretty logical right and here we are, you can see the screen and we have a human feedback, uh, the interruption before and uh, then again it goes to assistant tools and the cycle and an assistant is responsible to decide if it should go to tools or 
uh, it's possible to finish the flow. And let's tr uh, let's give it a try, right? And uh, I will run this one. So what's happening here? We define a new thread, a new conversation. We have our initial message about Tesla stocks again. Uh, we are pretty printing the last message, and then uh, we are trying to ask for update state, so a kind of a user can interact uh, with the system and provide some additional data. And this is the key point which I wanted to show you. We are calling graph update state as previously, but we can make the update not as us, but as a specific node. And this one we are highlighting, it's okay, I would like this update to be as a human feedback node performed it. And then we are just pretty printing. So let me, uh, let me copy paste my update message so I don't type it during the session. And this one, I meant about changing my mind. I'm doing this all the time and changing my mind. And okay, I'm running the flow and uh, the human message is here. It says, should I invest in Tesla stocks? And I'm trying to update this state. I'm saying, okay, no, sorry. Uh, I would like to uh, know more about Apple stocks. And here we are, take a look. We have the second human message, no, sorry, I changed my mind, and the tool call and the result of tool call. All right, that was human feedback, and uh, thank you that you stick with me till the end of this video. And uh, in the next video, we will take a look at dynamic breakpoints. So it's where it's not programmatically hard-coded in your code, but when you dynamically can decide if breakpoint is needed. And well, that was Evgeny. Uh, again, thank you for being with me, and I will see you next time. Bye-bye.